While the origins of smallpox remain in question, the disease is widely believed to have originated in Africa approximately 10,000 years before Christ, spreading out into India and China along early human trade routes. The first recorded smallpox epidemic struck in 1350 BC during the Egyptian Hittite War, while the earliest physical evidence of the disease was preserved in the mummified body of Pharaoh Ramses V, who reigned in Egypt during the years 1149 to 1145 BC. Smallpox expanded into Europe between the 5th and 7th centuries, causing untold death, disfigurement, and blindness. In the 18th century alone, smallpox killed an estimated 60 million Europeans, including five reigning monarchs. By the 20th century, smallpox was a significant disease in every country throughout the world except Australia, with worldwide death toll estimates ranging between 300 to 500 million lives. Carried abroad by European explorers, Smallpox is thought to be responsible for killing nearly all of the native inhabitants of the Americas. In South America, smallpox spread overland following the arrival of Spanish settlers in Panama and Colombia. The disease took the life of Incan Emperor Huayna Capac and most of his court around 1526, followed by Capac's designated heir to the throne, Ninan Cayuchi. The deaths brought about a power struggle between the two remaining heirs to the throne, Atahualpa and his half-brother, Huascar, which effectively splintered the Incan's ability to unify as a nation. Many historians maintain that if the Incans had not been fractionalized by civil war, Francisco Pizarro would have failed in his conquest of the Incan Empire. In Mexico, when the Aztecs rose up in rebellion against Cortes, the Spanish were forced to retreat when they were grossly outnumbered by Aztec warriors. After the first battle, the Aztecs contracted smallpox from a dead Spanish soldier, sparking an outbreak which killed upwards of 60% of the Aztec population. When Cortes returned for a second assault on Tenochtitlan, he discovered that smallpox had killed more Aztecs than his own cannons. Born in Gloucester, England, Edward Jenner was orphaned at age five and went to live with his older brother near Bristol. Due to his strong interest in science and nature, at 13 he was apprenticed to country surgeon George Harwick in rural Sodbury, England. It was in Sodbury that Jenner first heard a dairy maid proclaim that she would never have an ugly pockmarked face from smallpox since she had previously been exposed to cowpox. 34 years later, Jenner would remember that statement in a way that would profoundly impact mankind's fight against the disease. In May of 1796, Jenner encountered another young dairymaid, Sarah Nelms, who had fresh cowpox lesions on her hands and arms. Collecting fluid from Nelms' separating lesions, Jenner exposed an eight-year-old boy to the infectious fluid. Nine days after exposure, James Phipps experienced chills and a rapid loss of appetite, only to recover fully by the following day. Two months later, Jenner exposed Phipps to infectious material from a fresh smallpox lesion. When Phipps remained disease-free, Jenner concluded that he had successfully immunized the first human against the disease. When the Royal Society of Medicine refused to publish his findings in 1797, Jenner self-published his results and theories on smallpox transmission and immunization, coining the term vaccination from the Latin word vaccinia. Subjected to personal character attacks and public ridicule by many in the science world, Jenner would so devote his life to the cause of vaccination that his private practice and personal affairs began to suffer. Although Jenner made no attempt to enrich himself with his discovery, 26 years after his successful inoculation of James Phipps, British Parliament recognized the value of his work by awarding Jenner the sum of 10,000 pounds. By 1842, Smallpox vaccination had become so routine in England that an act of Parliament made the practice of variolation a felony under penalty of law. 
Today, smallpox is considered a vanquished disease, thanks in large part to the work of Edward Jenner and the production of the world's oldest commercial smallpox vaccine known as Dryvax. First produced in the 1800s by American Home Products, a predecessor to Wyeth Laboratories, Dryvax was given to nearly every American in the 1930s and 40s. The last outbreak of smallpox in the United States occurred in Texas in 1949, with eight cases and one fatality. In 1967, the World Health Organization began a campaign to eradicate smallpox worldwide. Following a 10-year mass vaccination effort in some of the poorest countries in the world, by 1980, the World Health Assembly declared that the world was officially free of smallpox. In 1975, two-year-old Rahima Banu of Bangladesh became the last person infected with naturally occurring variola major. In 